<coughs> Hello guys and I am Jack and I'm going to be showing you how to make the random speed generator. What the random speed generator does is makes your robot go different speeds backwards and forwards. So lots to learn here. You're going to go to the flow control button which is the orange button at the bottom of your screen. Get the loop button. Get the loop thingy. It's going to have loop on it and as you can see it looks like this this is gonna make it so it can go multiple times go to this red button it's the data operations button we're going to find at the far right the ran the random block which is the ran and I call it the random dice block and you're gonna put it right in the middle right smack in the middle Alright, you see these lower bound and upper bound. These are the speeds it can go. The lower bound is the lowest speed it can go. So you might want to have a negative because it can also go backwards, of course. And I'm going to have negative 70 as a good speed, as a lower bound. But also a good upper speed might be 70 as well. Now, this so I would explain to you what it meant. And this is just the whole thing combined. What, it's gonna ha what the speeds can be in between. Go to your action button, which is the green button. And you're always going to start off with it. Like when you just turn it on. And you're going to go to move steering, which is like, like the wheels. And then there's a small wheel thing. And you're going to put that after this random button block. You're going to change the on for rotations to on for seconds. Now, as you can see, you can see this value. You're going to click this and you can see there is a blank block and there's a yellow line. You're going to put that on top of the 50, which is below the power button. Finally, go back to the flow control, which is the orange one. Grab the weight button, which is an hourglass. Oh, and just to say, this is for this, um, if it's going straight or that. The weight button goes here for how long it goes for that amount of seconds. I mean, that speed. So, just keep it on for one. You can change it as long as as big as you want as small as you want and that is the program now what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually go once you plug in your mindstorm you're gonna go over to here which has all your mindstorm information or it's called the brick the brick information you're gonna click this which is the download to brick com button click that and you're gonna hear like a ding or something like that then right now it's just no but connected but because it's being used again and this is the download button so once you download it like i said ding and then you're gonna unplug it i named mine project random speed generator and once you, you're gonna find that in your folder file once you find that click on that and you're gonna click the play button and it's gonna start going and I'll show you that like right now